Hi everyone! Kumusta kayo? My name is John Angelo. Welcome to my channel and mag-uusap na naman tayo about skincare, skincare, and skincare. So, make sure to keep watching. So, ang topic natin for this video is again all about the very popular skincare ingredient, retinol. But this time, how to use it in a routine with other ingredients. And ito guys, napaka-common na topic or question to na tinatanong nyo talaga sa akin lagi. Kung ano ba yung mga ingredients na pwede or hindi pwedeng ipagsabay sa retinol. So, we will be be exploring more of that topic in this video using specific skincare examples. And for this video, yung mga examples na gagamitin ko will involve a lot of Korean skincare products kasi in my opinion, mas kompleto lang talaga sila ngayon in terms of yung iba't ibang mga active ingredients and products. And at the same time, hindi rin sila as expensive and mahirap hanapin or hagilapin compared to other Western skincare. So in a way, si Korean skincare complete siya and at the same time, mas accessible siya dito sa Pilipinas. And speaking of accessibility, this video is in partnership with one of the most accessible and convenient places online to get your Korean skincare in the Philippines, K-Beauty Cafe. So with that being said, wala nang any any, let us begin. Alright, so start muna tayo guys with one of my personal favorite ingredients to pair with retinol or retinoids and that is the ingredient niacinamide. So itong combination na to guys, sa mga hindi pa alam, this is really a top tier power duo or power couple as in, for me, para silang katniel of skincare pairings. As in, ganun talaga sila ka-iconic. And the reason for this is because both niacinamide and retinol actually target very, very similar skincare concerns in their own special way. As in, parehong may effect ang retinoids and niacinamide for skin concerns such as dark spots, for improving or reducing the signs of aging like fine lines or wrinkles, and even for helping minimize yung itsura ng pores natin over time. And aside from the fact na parang double action or parang double attack siya sa isang skincare concern, complementary din kasi talaga sila na ingredients to each other because there are studies showing na yung paggamit ng niacinamide actually helps the skin tolerate retinol or retinoids more. Kasi ang niacinamide guys, it also does help maintain and repair our skin barrier. So in its own way, napaprevent din yan na mag-dry out or ma-irritate yung skin natin from retinol or retinoids. Especially since alam nga natin na meron silang parang side effect na drying sila or irritating sa skin. And guys, this is really why makikita nyo tong pairing or combination na to sa iba't ibang mga videos ko. Like for example, doon sa anti-aging routine ko, I do use a retinol product and then I follow it with a niacinamide moisturizer. And then yung sa dark spots video ko naman, meron akong product na nirecommend na merong retinol and meron din siyang niacinamide in one product already. And actually, speaking of irritation also, as we know, niacinamide is very popular in 10% formulations. Pero guys, guys, ito lang yung masasabi kong huwag nyo nang itry gawin with this combination. As in, definitely guys, medyo unnecessary na gumamit ng strength na as high as 10% niacinamide, especially kung isasabay mo siya sa retinol. For me, around 5% would be the best because at 5%, less irritating na siya, which is of course very important because gumagamit nga tayo ng retinol or retinoids. And again, lagi ko itong sinasabi about niacinamide guys, at 5%, lahat na ng gusto mong makuhang benefits from niacinamide whether it's improving the signs of aging, like fine lines or wrinkles, sa dark spots, sa pores, sa skin barrier repair, lahat yun makukuha mo na at 5%. And again, wala pang enough research to show na mas effective ang 10% niacinamide. Ang alam lang natin is, you are more prone to irritation with 10%. And again, lalo na retinol yung gamit natin na mas nagpapasensitive ng skin, you wouldn't want na mas gawing prone pa to irritation yung skin mo. So like I've said guys, marami na akong mga product combinations and recommendations na meron ng retinol and niacinamide na pinakita ko sa inyo in my previous videos. So you can refer to those videos if you want. I'll put some of them here. Pero just to give more examples to you guys, let's try it with K-Beauty. And in fairness dito guys, ha, medyo budget-friendly itong mga examples na ipapakita ko compared to other Korean skincare brands. Hindi siya gaano kasakit sa wallet. And these are from the affordable brand Frankly. And these are their retinol. 0.1% Wrinkle Repair Cream for 499 pesos and also their Sunday Glow Brightening and Tone Up Serum for 399 pesos. O ba diba, sabi ko sa inyo, less than 500 pesos lang yung mga products na to, which is actually really, really affordable for a Korean skincare brand. 
lalo na retinol to guys. Itong retinol ni Frankie has a very lightweight cream consistency na very comfortable lang yung feeling on the skin. As in ito guys, napakarami nitong moisturizing ingredients to really offset yung possible na irritation from the 0.1% retinol. And speaking of that, napakagandang percentage din kasi talaga ng 0.1%. Perfect na perfect for those who are just beginning to use retinol and also those who are more or less satisfied naman sa skin nila and are just looking for a maintenance na retinol product. Now, this one guys also has niacinamide already so technically, hindi mo na siya kailangan dagdagan if limited lang yung budget ninyo. But for those na meron ng retinol pero yung retinol product nila walang niacinamide, kunyari, and you're looking for a niacinamide product to pair together with it, this Glow Brightening and Tone Up Serum is great because it also has 5% niacinamide. And plus points pa to guys because you can also use this during the daytime as a standalone serum. As in to kasi guys, meron din tong 2% boron nitride which helps blur yung appearance ng pores mo which is really nice if may pupuntahan kang something, parang event, and gusto mo ng serum na parang instantly nakaka-fresh siya ng skin. And of course, dahil nga niacinamide to, it does work together as an antioxidant with the sunscreen na susuotin mo sa morning routine mo. And speaking of antioxidants, yun din yung pag-uusapan natin next because this is how to pair retinol with the queen of antioxidants, vitamin C, and other anti-aging ingredients. So dito guys, very loosely ko lang gagamitin yung term na anti-aging because technically, you really cannot stop aging in your skin but there are ways in which mapapabagal natin yung process na yun sa skin natin. But anyway, as we all know, one of the best and most popular antioxidants out there is really going to be vitamin C. As in, marami talagang tao, love na love talaga nila gumamit ng mga vitamin C serums. However, when it comes to using this product with the retinol, dun siya medyo nagiging confusing because you have to find out a couple of things doon sa vitamin C serum na ginagamit ninyo. So first, kailangan mo munang alamin yung type of vitamin C na ginagamit ng vitamin C product ninyo. So very simple lang to guys, just check the ingredients list and look for the first ingredient na merong ascorb sa word niya. Like for example, ascorbic, ascorbil, ascorbate, basta hanapin niyo yung word na may ascorb. And if you find the exact word, as in kailangan exact guys ha, if you find L-ascorbic acid sa ingredients ninyo, chances are yung ginagamit ninyo is pure vitamin C. And yun guys, that's really one of the best antioxidants to use in your skincare. And at first, iisipin mo rin talaga na parang okay and very powerful na combination si retinol and si pure vitamin C together kasi pareho silang powerful antioxidants. However, hindi yun lagi yung case guys and actually when you're using these two ingredients, dapat extra careful ka. The reason being, dahil nga powerful ingredients sila both, both actually also have a possible side effect of irritating our skin. Which is why, kung gumagamit ka ng L-ascorbic acid or pure vitamin C sa skincare routine mo and you also want to use retinol, hindi mo naman kailangan mag-stop gumamit ng pure vitamin C but then, it's better to use them at different parts of the day. So for example, si pure vitamin C, gamitin mo siya sa umaga and then si retinol sa gabi naman. That way, makukuha niyo pa rin both benefits from these ingredients but with a lesser chance of irritating irritating your skin. Now, on the other hand, guys, let's say hindi L-ascorbic acid yung nakita ninyong ingredient. For example, 3-O-ethyl ascorbic acid or sodium ascorbyl phosphate or ascorbyl glucoside or another word na hindi L-ascorbic acid. No, malabang sa hindi, guys, ang ginagamit nyo doon is a vitamin C derivative. Okay, huwag kayong ma-intimidate kung beginner lang kayo. Ang meaning lang nun, guys, is it's actually a kind of vitamin C na mas stable and also mas less irritating sa skin natin. And actually, dahil dun guys, pwede mo silang isabay with your retinol product. Kasi nga, lesser na yung risk of irritation. Now, ang catch nga lang sa mga vitamin C derivatives is, hindi pa ganun kalakas yung research sa kanila na ka-level nila yung pure vitamin C or L-ascorbic acid in terms of yung mga benefits like being an antioxidant or even yung mga brightening effects niya. So, ayun lang guys, hindi ka masyadong sigurado sa results. Pero, kung hindi ka naman talaga hiyang doon sa pure vitamin C, or L-ascorbic acid, let's say na-try mo na siya, 
and sobrang nai-irritate talaga yung skin niyo from it, then I would say, worth a try naman tong mga vitamin C derivatives na to. And I know, baka meron ng iba dyan na nasisimula na maging confused sa vitamin C na ginagamit nila. So, don't worry if you do want to know more about vitamin C as an ingredient. I do have a separate video here that you can check out. However, for those na ayaw talagang gumamit ng vitamin C, let's say, masyado talaga siyang confusing for you or hindi ka talaga hiyang sa vitamin C, that's okay guys because we do have other options as well for ingredients na meron silang konting research din with their anti-aging and antioxidant abilities. So first up, we do have the ingredient bakuchiol which is actually very popular these days sa skincare. And marami nagsasabi guys na parang plant-based retinol daw to but honestly guys, hindi yun totoo. It's not as powerful as retinol. However, maganda siyang gamitin with retinol because there are some studies showing that bakuchiol also helps the skin na i-tolerate yung retinol. So again, not as strong pa yung studies on bakuchiol now but it is worth a try if naghahanap lang kayo ng booster to your retinol. But I wouldn't really replace retinol with bakuchiol. Now, another really good example of an anti-aging ingredient are the ingredients called peptides. So ito guys, magandang partner din siya sa retinol because peptides do have some research on it na nakakatulong siya not only to soothe and hydrate our skin but also to help make it firm. Which actually makes it a really good potential partner or booster ingredient na isama sa retinol. Alright, so given that information, again, paano ba natin to i-apply to the skincare products that we would be using or the skincare products that we would be choosing from kapag namimili tayo? Again, let's try it with K-Beauty. So if you do want to use yung vitamin C derivatives with your retinol, again, marami na akong pinakita ng mga examples doon sa how to use vitamin C na video ko. You can check my recommendations there. Pero for vitamin C derivatives, nanonotice ko that a lot of brands like to combine niacinamide and vitamin C derivatives derivatives together. So, I would suggest na ganun yung kunin ninyo kasi parang 2-in-1 na siya. Hindi ka lang merong vitamin C pero meron ka na rin niacinamide which again is really great with retinol. So, an example for that would be this one by the brand Kane and this is their Vita Drop Zero. So, ito guys, this does have a small amount of vitamin C derivatives like 3-O-ethyl ascorbic acid and ascorbyl glucoside but this also has 3% niacinamide. So, yung ganito guys, definitely masasabay nyo to sa retinol ninyo with very very low chances of irritating your skin. And the next for bakuchiol naman, actually ako personally guys, I don't really see a big benefit in buying a separate na bakuchiol serum or bakuchiol product kasi hindi rin naman siya gaano ka necessary sa isang routine. So kung meron na kayong retinol serum ngayon and you do want to use it with bakuchiol, I do suggest na ubusin nyo na lang muna yung retinol na product nyo ngayon and then kapag kailangan nyo na mag-restock ng retinol product, that's when you get a retinol serum na merong bakuchiol. And a good example of that is this one by Buy Wish Trend, itong Vitamin A Amazing Bakuchiol Night Cream nila. Again, this one has a combination of retinal and bakuchiol. And yes, retinal, not retinol. So if you do want to know the difference of that, you can check my video here. And lastly, if kailangan nyo naman ng product with peptides, actually, bihira ko to makita sa Korean skincare. Usually, sa Western skincare ko siya nakikita, like for example, sa The Ordinary. Pero again, merong nag-step up na Korean brand. And again, this is the very affordable brand, frankly. This is their closer pore-reducing serum at just 390. Pesos. And in fairness dito guys, ha, this has 9 peptides very high up in the ingredients list which is very very interesting lalo na 399 pesos lang siya. And again, napaka budget friendly pa ng combo na to if yung retinol mo rin is from frankly again 499 tapos 399 less than 1000 pesos meron ka ng retinol routine. Alright, next up, we do have an ingredient combination na, in my opinion, very underrated siya. Pero sa totoo lang, isa talaga to sa mga pinaka-importante na gamitin with retinol. And this is none other than using retinol with moisturizing ingredients. Now, I do know na for some people, baka medyo boring yung moisturizer and retinol na combination. Pero honestly, sometimes they can really make all the difference sa paggamit mo ng isang retinol product. And especially yung mga retinoid products na malalakas and matatapang. Now, ako personally, guys, there are three things I look for in a moisturizer kapag gagamitin ko siya with retinol. Now, the first thing that I look for is a moisturizer with soothing ingredients. Now, I'm sure alam niyo na kung bakit kailangan ng mga soothing ingredients sa isang moisturizer, especially in a routine with retinol. So, hindi na masyadong mahabang explanation yung gagawin ko. But basically, it's to offset yung potential irritation na makukuha mo from retinol or retinoids. Now, when we think mga soothing plant extracts, syempre, dumadating talaga sa mind natin is yung very popular na Centella Asiatica or Sika, which is really good. But also other plant extracts like aloe extract, my favorite oat extract, 
and also rice extract are really really great to have in your moisturizers as well. Now next, I would also look for a moisturizer na merong body. So sa mga pilosa po dyan, hindi yung literal na body, but a moisturizer na hindi super duper lightweight. Kasi diba, merong mga ibang moisturizers na sa sobrang bilis nila mag-absorb sa skin, parang wala na lang sila, hindi man siya sobra na feel. And that one, may tamang place naman yun sa isang skincare routine, pero medyo hindi siya enough to prevent irritation in a routine na gagamit ka ng retinol. And lastly, eto guys, medyo bonus to if meron siya sa moisturizer, pero super plus point sa akin kung meron. And that is if the moisturizer also has niacinamide. And again, I'm sure hindi yun na kailangan ng mahabang explanation dito guys because I already did explain it earlier na napakagandang combination talaga ng niacinamide and retinol. And dagdagan mo pa ng mga moisturizing ingredients, this is really going to help offset irritation and protect your skin barrier habang naka-retinoids or retinol ka. So ako guys, yun yung mga personal na hinahanap ko sa mga moisturizers when I use it with retinoids. And if you want to do this as well, just to be able to provide you with a wider range of options, especially with Korean skincare, this time, let's try it with K-Beauty. Alright, so since meron akong tatlong criteria, meron akong pinili na isang moisturizer for each from all different brands. And mag-start tayo doon sa first natin na requirement which is yung mga soothing ingredients. I have this one by Pyun Kang Yul and this is their Calming Moisture Barrier Cream. So diba, pangalan pa lang na calming, you already know na meron tong soothing ingredients. And true enough, this does have Centella Asiatica Extract, Madecasoside, Asiaticoside, Tea Tree Extract, and Honey Soul Extract. And yun guys, are all skin soothing. Now guys, this is a great moisturizer to use with your retinoids kung mahilig kayo sa watery na consistency because so while this starts off as a cream kapag blinend mo siya, it instantly becomes very watery, giving you a very hydrated finish. And also, mafe-feel mo pa rin yung hydration on your skin after hindi siya bigla-biglang nawawala like other moisturizers. So I would say kung oily yung skin type mo and you do want a watery night cream, this is a good one to add sa retinol routine mo. On the other hand, for those who want a moisturizer na slightly creamier, again, medyo mas may body, itong next one is for you and this is the Benton Serum. Ceramide cream. So actually, ito guys, medyo similar siya doon sa texture noong Pyun Kang Yul na previous product natin, except this one has a slightly more buttery feeling. And light cream pa rin siya when you dispense it onto your skin. Moderately easy to blend naman siya with a natural finish. Pero guys, yung feel talaga nito pag iniwan mo sa skin is what makes all the difference. Kasi hindi basta-basta nawawala yung feeling of nourishment or moisture sa skin mo. Which is why okay na okay to for those na nagbabuffer method or nagsasandwich method. Basically, yung naglalagay muna kayo ng layer of moisturizer before putting on your retinol or retinoids on your face para hindi siya super irritating. And lastly, if you do want a moisturizer na meron namang niacinamide, one of my favorite moisturizers in K-Beauty right now is this one by Beauty of Jawson. Actually, ito guys, hindi lang ito example ng product na may niacinamide, but this also has all the features na minention ko kanina. So aside from having niacinamide, this also does have Chinese skullcap and and Coptis Haponica, mga plant extracts yun guys that are used in traditional Asian medicine for its soothing properties. So check na tayo doon sa soothing ingredients, but for the second requirement, yung texture nito guys, this is actually probably the thickest out of all the three moisturizers na minention ko. As in, kung mega nagda-dry talaga kayo from retinoids or retinol, as in yung level na nagpa-flake yung skin ninyo, this is a really good product to consider. Actually, akala ko nung una parang gel cream lang to because it does look light and it spreads easily onto the skin. But again, after mo siyang completely spread, super moisturizing lang talaga yung feeling and long-lasting yung moisture na mafe-feel mo. So, kung high-strength retinol or retinoids yung gamitin nyo, as in yung super irritating talaga sa skin, this is also a really, really good option. Alright, and last but not the least, moving on to our last ingredient to pair with retinol or retinoids. And actually, this one is the most talked about and pinakatinatanong nyo talaga sa social media. This is how to use retinol or retinoids with with exfoliants. Now, one of the most common questions that tinatanong nyo sa akin about this is, paano ko ba siya gagamitin yung dalawang ingredients na to? Because I want to use them both in my routine. I want both the benefits of retinoids and exfoliants. Now, kung gumagamit kayo ng retinol and leave on exfoliants, meaning yung mga exfoliating toner, exfoliating serum, essence, ampule, moisturizer, etc., na meron silang significant percentage ng mga exfoliants, meaning mga 3% AHA or above, or kung BHA, parang 0.5% and above. The answer to this is, 
technically, for advanced users, as in yung matagal nang gumagamit ng retinoids and exfoliants sa routine nila, as in yung sanay na sanay na yung skin nila, sometimes, dermatologists allow na ipagsabay sila. However, and malaking however to guys ha, most dermatologists recommend not to combine them, especially kung beginners pa kayo. Because it can be very irritating sa skin natin. And hindi ko alam kung may kakilala na kayong nagka-irritation from exfoliants and retinol, pero sobrang hapdi niya talaga guys. As in, ayaw nyo siyang mangyari sa skin ninyo. Because hindi lang siya masakit, pero hassle din siya. As in, kailangan mong mag-stop ng skincare, kailangan mong gumamit ng mas mga gentle lang na products until gumaling yung skin mo. Basically, may bago ka namang problem na i-address sa skin mo. So this is really why most dermatologists recommend na kapag beginner pa lang kayo sa routine or even kapag medyo intermediate user na kayo, better to just use them on alternate nights. So for example, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, mag-retinol kayo sa gabi, and then Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday, pwede kayo mag-exfoliant. So again, you get both benefits of these ingredients pero less irritation. Now another way is specifically kung gumagamit kayo ng BHA or salicylic acid, kung gumagamit kayo ng exfoliating cleanser, you can use that and then retinol in the same routine. Pwede din yun guys because since wash off naman yung BHA or exfoliating cleanser ninyo, hindi siya malilayer on or sasabay with retinol or retinoids to cause more irritation sa skin. Pero guys, masasabi ko, this still highly depends sa skin type and skin sensitivity ninyo. As in, check nyo muna kung kaya ba talaga ng skin ninyo. Kasi merong iba guys, after pa lang nila gumamit ng BHA or salicylic acid na cleanser, Medyo meron na silang nafe-feel na parang mahapdi sa skin nila. So obviously, kung ganun yung nafe-feel ninyo, it means wag na. Now ako guys, personally sa routine ko, mas user talaga ako ng salicylic acid or BHA na wash. And actually, when it comes to Korean skincare, ang dami ng options ngayon na hindi matatapang or less potentially irritating sila compared to other Western brands. So if you do want some recommendations, again, let's try it with K-Beauty. So kung gusto nyo gumamit ng exfoliating wash and then retinoid after, two examples of exfoliating cleanser that you can use are these two. We have the Cane Rosemary Gel Cleanser with just 0.5% BHA and the Biowish Trend Acid Duo 2% Mild Gel Cleanser. So for those na very very mild exfoliation lang yung gusto nilang gawin, a good option is really this one by Cane because very low amount of BHA lang siya tapos wash off pa. So very very low chance for irritation kahit gamitin mo pa siya every day. And actually this one I've already tried with retinol and also with retinoids na medyo high strength. Yung tretinoin ko dati nagamit ko na siya with this. Okay pa rin siya for me as in it just felt like a regular cleanser and never talaga ako na-irritate dito. On the other hand, if you want a higher strength na exfoliating cleanser, meron din tong kay Biowish Trend. It actually says Acid Duo 2% kasi meron siyang 1% LHA and 1% PHA and sa mga confused yung dalawang yun, mas gentle version lang sila ng BHA and AHA. So ito masasabi ko less irritating siya compared sa mga western na products na merong BHA but compare mo dito to sa cane, medyo mas higher strength talaga to. And dahil dun guys, ito I actually only make sure to leave this on my face for mga 20 to 30 seconds lang to prevent irritation. Kasi guys, depending sa sensitivity ng skin mo, kapag in-extend mo pa siya ng hanggang 1 minute, sometimes, humahap din ng ibang cleansers or sometimes hindi na kayang mag-retinol pa. So just to be on the safe side, 20 to 30 seconds lang. And after using this cleanser, make sure to pat dry your face first. And then, assess nyo muna yung skin ninyo if kaya pa ba. And then, if kaya pa, then you can proceed to using your retinol or your retinoid product on your skin. Pero guys, just remember, if hindi talaga kaya ng skin ninyo yung combination na to, then just use them in separate routines. Again, yung isa sa umaga, yung isa sa gabi, or yung isa pwedeng MWF, tapos yung isa TTH. Wala namang masama dun. It can actually even prevent you from getting irritation on your skin. Kailangan mo lang talaga maging strategic and madiskarte with using your products. And speaking of products, again, if you do want to check out any of the products na minensyon ko sa video na to or any of my Korean favorites. Again, you can find them all listed and organized sa description box para hindi na kayo mahirapan. All of these lead to the official K-Beauty Cafe store where you get the most accessible prices and guys, kapag nagsisale sila, ang laki din talaga ng discounts. And as usual guys, if you did find this video informative, please do leave me a thumbs up and subscribe for more content like this. And as always guys, I will see you in the next video. Bye! Kasi, kasi as we all know, kasi hindi ka muna papasok sa school.